where did you go to? I said I went to Abraka. It's Abraka name of a school. It's not about just looking good. You can look good and have dirty character. You can look good and be mannerless. You will get the attention quite horrible, but you will not retain it. Your natural hair is not attractive. And it's with good communication you get to build a relationship. Sixteen years ago, sorry I was busy, but I missed you. If you see me balling in my pitch ball. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another video. My name is Aymoa. I am a makeup artist and a YouTuber currently based in Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. And if you're a new subscriber or you're just seeing me for the first time, go and watch out my other videos and make sure you subscribe. I don't know if you guys saw that video of that pastor woman talking about how natural hair doesn't sell market. If you haven't seen it, this is it. All of you will be carrying natural hair about. Who, who natural hair help? Okay. Better, yeah. better wear your wig. I'm doing like this. I'm be flipping it. Go and spend that money on hair. Spend, draw your brows. Buy lip gloss. Look good. Natural hair is not selling markets. When you marry, you off your wig. Hey, because you have entered. There's nothing they can do about it. But before you enter, don't be caught on fresh. Never. If you're not familiar with the word sell market, it means it most likely means it's not good for business. Like you being in your natural hair doesn't get you what you want because men don't find it attractive. Your natural hair is not attractive. Do you get the contest she was talking about was in terms of getting a man or being in a relationship or just, you know, just getting you know books or cuffs this video really caused a whole lot of mis misconception it brought in a lot of takes i'm not sure this um lady understands how sensitive this topic is especially as africans i'm not sure she does because if she did she would have had a better approach to pass her message however this video is not going to add it's not to add to what has already been said or what people are currently saying more about what she was like referring to she was trying to talk about how women should be attractive how women should look good in order to like be in a relationship and all of that but i just want to tell you that looking good is is really important but it's really not about your natural hair or you're wearing wigs because you can spend much money on wigs or you can do all the hair care um, process on looking good and you can just be in the wrong space do you understand so i'm really going to just talk about why it seems like people are not just getting what they want and this is really just going to be my opinion i'm not a therapist i'm not a relationship or marriage expert it's really just my opinion one of the reasons why you are not ending up with your man or a man is really just because you don't even know what you want you don't know what you want hence you cannot attract anything or you can attract everything and you are accessible to everybody and anything that seems to be interested in relationship you need to understand what you want you need to know what you want in a partner this go goes both ways a man or a woman you need to know what you want and once you are able to identify what it is the qualities and the standards you need from a partner you need to go to where these people are yes for, let me give you an instance for instance if you are looking to become a fashion designer a reputable fashion designer you're not going to go to a place where fashion designers are or are not or you want to not go to a place of photographers how are you going to meet a fashion designer when you are with photographers it doesn't work that way so if you're looking for a particular a particular type of man a particular type of woman the standards you need to identify where they are and be there as a lady i'm not saying you should go there and go and ask a man out no just because it's available to be asked out <laughs> that's literally it another thing is you need to educate yourself speaking on my former um example talking about you going to a fashion designing school because you want to learn fashion you need you now need to educate yourself you cannot just be there and remain stagnant let's say for instance now the kind of person you want to be hangs out or goes to all this like um talk shows or something you don't even know why you are there so if you, if you not eventually look good you not identify where they are and you are now there so when i approach you you cannot even keep a conversation you need to have something that keeps their attention because you need to communicate and it's with good communication you get to build a relationship 
So you need to get informed about the kind of person you're with. If you want to be with a, like a petroleum engineer or a business person, a high-end value person, you need to know what they are doing so that when they meet, you can have something to talk about because it's not just getting their attention, it's maintaining their attention. Another thing I also noticed is that it really matters how you project yourself. Best believe that the person you are looking for to need trying to be with someone of the same value as a high value man will also need a high value woman to strive. What are your values? What are you adding to this person's life? What is this person adding to your life? It's a give and take something in my opinion. And one of the ways why you can how you can um, project yourself is being confident. You don't want to be a lady of slow self-esteem. Even if for instance, let's say they are not in the same social brackets as you, that does not mean that you shouldn't be looking down at yourself in front of them. No. If they ask you a question, they are talking to you, you need to speak with confidence. You need to speak with confidence and calmness. Like don't flinch. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying. Most people, try to say it's low self-esteem. Let's say you are in a, in a gathering of people that are of higher social brackets than you. Does that mean that you're not between? No. If you happen to find yourself in such an environment, when they speak, you respond with confidence. What's your name? My name is Mary Aima. Not do, ah, my name is Aima. What do you do? I am a makeup artist. If you speak about your job in a, in a low tone, they will look at you when you look at yourself. What do you do? I'm a makeup artist. Oh, you're a makeup artist. Yes, I am. Where did you go to school? I went to Delta State University. You have to be confident. You have to be audible. Don't just exude low self-esteem. They say, where did you go to? I say, I went to Abraka. Is Abraka the name of a school? You went to Delta State University. Oh, where is that? Abraka Delta State. Do you understand? You have to exude confidence. We don't want low self-esteem people. It doesn't work. Even if you retain their attention, you will. Even if you um, get their attention, you will not retain it. That's what you just said. Another thing I also want to talk about is timing. You can be good looking. You can be perfect. You can be in the right spaces. You can have the best conversations. But if it's not just your time, it's not going to work. But one thing I will always say is constant working on yourself or constant becoming better, loving yourself is always going to attract the kind of person you desire, the kind of person you want. So it's really not about just looking good. You can look good and have dirty character. You can look good and be mannerless. You will get the attention quite tolerable, but you will not retain it. So I really hope that this point of mine or this information I've given would help in attracting the kind of person you desire. So for more videos like this, you know what to do. You need to comment down below. I need to know. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and comment. Let's have a conversation in the comment section. So to my next video, stay pretty, stay blessed, and I'll see you some other time. Bye. I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes.